Welcome back, everybody. In the last episode, we came down from Lesier Hot Springs towards Kimberly. Then we went over the Gray Creek Pass, finally ending our day at Fletcher Creek Falls Rec Site near Caslow. Good morning, everybody. Um, start of day, hmm, day five for me here. And this is uh, just outside Caslow. And uh, yeah, I had a great sleep. It was a uh, nice setup. Nice setup here and uh, had a really good sleep. It was a lot warmer than in these Kootenays. <laughs> a lot nicer. So anyway, I'm just going to get packed up really quickly. I'm going to go into town for hit some breakfast. And we're going to get going. I'm going to try and get uh, four trails done today. Um, those trails up. Uh, on uh, Buchanan Mountain up there and then uh, Rico mine site and then probably I'm probably gonna head get go up to Meadow and it'll, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna at least try to get these two up here two trails and I'm gonna try to get go up to uh, towards Meadow Mountain area and maybe get that done today and maybe I'll just drive home in the dark I don't know but we're winging it so Lots to do today. I'm gonna get some breakfast in me. Let's get this tent packed up, fly the drone, and let's get rocking. Okay, just packed up and on the road again here. I'm gonna grab a bite to eat in Caslow. Then we can I'm gonna have a big meal this morning here and then we're gonna we're gonna give her for the day. See what we can get done today. See how many peaks we can do. Learning to drive! beautiful morning I hope the smoke holds up I think it will I think I have basically today that's it so I want to get uh, a couple of few mountain tops today because I don't think we're gonna have tomorrow I think between smoke and rain the weather's gonna turn and the smoke's gonna become a lot worse um, just check uh, the uh, smoke fire site and it's it shows quite bad so this is as good as it's gonna get and it's gonna get a lot worse, so we gotta make it. It's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a long day, but I know I'm willing to push it and get it done, and, and let's have some fun. It's called Mirror Lake. It's a little tiny lake. A lot of people come up here camping. It can get quite popular. Okay, I, okay, everybody, I just had the most amazing breakfast at the Treehouse Restaurant in Caslow, BC, so uh, get it all on one plate, and oh, man, I am stuffed. So just drop in here and have a good breakfast if you guys are up here in Caslow. And you know, I'm good for the day. Okay, let's get riding. we got a long way to go. I don't think we have far to go. Uh, the trail itself is only about... Uh, 10 kilometers. I hope that wasn't it.
Okay, here we are. The Cannon Lookout Tortoise Site Recreation Site. Okay. Oh, I need this one. And here we go. And we're off. It's gotta be pretty mellow, but it says two-wheel drive vehicle, so. I don't think there's going to be a chance to leave my gear anywhere today. I would have left it at the uh, rack site this morning, but there was no motorized vehicles allowed. But I did, I did run my bike down there. Eleven clicks. I wasn't about to leave my bike at the top. I don't think I'd have a bike in the morning. It'd be gone almost for sure. Do a little bit of climbing now. We're about 4,800 feet or so. Uh, 21 degrees, good temperature. We're around 5,400 feet right now, so we're climbing pretty quick. Uh, 23 degrees, nice temperature. I cannot tell you how handy it is having that temperature device. Probably use that more than anything. It's just nice to know. Well, it's not nice to know when it's two degrees when you wake up. <laughs> like it was over my white salon. Yeah. Waking up to two degrees, it's like... That was crispy. I just got my tent dry from, from that. Baby sharp heads. Yeah, this part of the country, the baby heads aren't baby heads. They're like embedded, sh embedded sharp plates. <laughs> A little bit different. Yeah, a little bit of smoke in the air today. And like I said, it's going to be rolling in. It's uh, They've already given smoke advisories for uh, for this region. And when I look at I look at a smoke map, it's, it's rolling in. It's coming from the States right now. Canada Lookout, one kilometer. Yeah, it's pretty neat that they have uh, camping up here. And honestly, I think that's brilliant. It's what they should have done to all these sites right from the get-go. And then you wouldn't have had any vandalism. You probably still would have them. You know, because groups would have taken them up. Hiking groups, backpack groups, ATV groups, and they would have taken care of them. But instead, you just washed away, wiped your hands, the Forest Service, they flew some materials out, burned others. And, oh, it was a hodgepodge. It's too, it's too bad, because you go to... You go to, there's a site called firelookout.org, and I think it's based out of the States, could be, and um, they have a lot of fire lookouts in the U.S. system, still functional, 
they, they house people, people in them or people people take care of them, volunteer, I, I'm not sure what the circumstances are. But anyway, if you look up, like closest to me is Idaho, Washington, and they're about, I think they're about 270 lookouts in those, in, in those two states, which is amazing. Can and look out. Oh wow, picnic table, fire pit. What could you ask for? Here I am, folks, talk at the top of Buchanan Lookout. Something that I haven't seen in quite a long time. Look at all the jet streams. How cool is that? Yeah, just uh, jet traffic seems to be picking up again. It was silent for a long time, so. Anyhow, this is the view right now. Look at this. This is unreal. Just beautiful up here. I can't believe I live so close. I've never, I've never been up here. Okay, that's it. Buchanan Lookout is done. Let's get down to the bottom and go to Rico Mountain. That's the next spot. It's really cool. That's very neat that they have that. Anyhow, okay. They say a two-wheel drive, high-clearance vehicle. <laughs> I'm just curious what that would be. Two-wheel drive, high-clearance vehicle. <laughs> what that could make it up there? It'd have to be a front-wheel drive something. Even at that, I mean, I don't know. Watch your oil pans if you're if you're listening to this. <laughs> Take your two-wheel drive SUV up there. <laughs> oh boy. The leaves are starting to turn. It's my favorite time of year.
not some shale. Wow, that's cool. Cadillac Cedars Recreation Trail. Cedars Trail. Wow, that's a nice view. Oh, there are big mountains up here. Nice to snow built in this area. Yeah, we're at 4,400 feet and we're 24 degrees. We're climbing, we're not climbing that hard. So I'm not certain what the elevation will be like up here. I guess we'll see. Nice big cedars in here. Look at how the rocks are worn away from the continuous water flow and probably minerals in the water, I'm betting. Avalanche shoot! Heavy danger! Little trails up here everywhere I notice. side detour here. Oh wow. Uh, mine site, I guess. Okay, these are actually, these are doubles for mountain bikes. And apparently somebody was telling me that they did, they did a, a Red Bull series up here. You can see it's all grown in, but that up there is the drop. Up there you can see it. I think we'll just take a quick. Somebody was telling me that it was quite serious up here at some point. Oh yeah, you can see people have taken it. Oof, that's a, that's a gap and a half. These are all tailings, I think. Holy man, I think I'm getting lost here.
that's gorgeous right there. Oh man, that's pretty. There's mountain bike trails, a lot of them. that goes over a ridge, I think. that was definitely not the way over because that last little piece was pretty radical I probably could have punched my way up that but you know what I know that's not the way so I can't be spending time on it I've seen videos where guys just go over that and stay on the ridge I do remember seeing that, that it, I wondered where it was taken now I know so I seen one veer off other direction here I'm hoping that's it I'm just kind of poking around up here. I'm not certain I really even have the right directions or even know where I'm going. This kind of looks like on the map it'll join up, but I'm not sure, certain it will.
GoPro capture. Is it running? Yeah, I can see the right one down there. I definitely did not get the right road. This is more like a pack horse trail, this is. I don't even think this is the right road. People have definitely been up this. But I don't think this is it. Okay, I'm on yet another road. Not sure whether this is it either. It's looking a hell of a lot more promising. At least it's... I don't know how I missed this one, but... At least it's a little bit more beaten, beaten path to me. This could be it. It's in a total different spot. At least this one I can clearly see motorcycles have been up it, so that's a really good sign. Man, it's a well-used road. Look at that. I don't know how I got turned off when I turned on that other one. Oh, they loud and hot in the top. Parched. Hey, have a drink of water. Oh, looks like we're gonna go over a mountain pass. Okay, here we are on the top of Rico Mines. Finally made it. Not even sure, certain what turn I did or didn't take. And I'm gonna make a decision whether I'm going back down this or whether I'm gonna take a different road down. Anyway, yeah, it was uh, quite the ordeal getting up here. And uh, lots of neat stuff up here. And I can hear somebody coming up right now, so I think I'll just hang out for a couple minutes and see who to say hi. That's pretty neat when you see somebody else out on the trail. Pretty vast area we have here. We don't see a lot of people, so uh, I don't think I've ever seen anybody out on the trail yet. Maybe one or two. And uh, that's pretty neat. See that? You come all the way along the ridge. Anyway, sounds like this guy's getting close, so I'm going to get ready to go and say hi. Okay, top of Rico Mines.
us next time, folks, for our season finale. We're we'll head down off Rico Mountain into Castle for a quick lunch. Then we head off to the top of Meadow Mountain. Thanks for watching, folks. Click here to subscribe so you don't miss future videos. Or click here to see some of my other videos. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and share. And leave any comments or questions at the bottom of the page.